Hello and welcome to HP Calx. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how to work with vectors on the Casio FX991 MS calculator. To do this we'll be using the mode key that looks like this, located here, the 5 key with a shift function of VCT or vector located here, as well as the shift key that looks like this, located here in the top left. Now the first thing we're going to want to do if we want to work with vectors on this calculator is put our calculator into vector mode. We can do this by pressing the mode key once to get to this menu, press it again to get to this menu, and press it a third time to get to this menu here where we see the third option is VCT. That's the mode we want so we'll pr press 3 and you should see a VCT in the top of the screen right here now. We can now enter our vectors that we want to use. For these examples, we'll use this A vector of 1, 2, 3, and our B vector of 3, 2, 1, both of which are three-dimensional vectors. To begin, what we do is we press Shift and then the 5. That brings us into our vector menu here, where we have number 1 for DIM, dimensions, 2 for edits, and 3 for our vectors. When we first want to enter our vectors, we want to choose 1, DIM. That will bring us to this menu here. We have three vector slots that we can use, A, B, and C. We'll be using both A and B here. So we'll start with A, press 1, and then it'll ask us how many dimensions our vector will be. That's what the M is, is dimensions. Since we're using three-dimensional vectors here, we'll press 3 and enter. Now we see VCT A1. This is what's our first number or our first dimension. Well, for A, it's 1, so we'll press 1, enter, 2, we're using 2, 2, there we go, and for our 3, again, is 3. Press enter, and you'll see it cycles back again to 1, so if you want to change something or edit it, you can do that here. Let's enter our B vector. So again, we press Shift, 5 to get to this menu, 1 for our dimensions, and 2 for vector B. It'll ask us how many dimensions again. Remember, we're doing 3, so 3 equals. And for number 1, we're using 3. Dimension 2, we're using 2. And for the third dimension, we're using 1. There we go. And again, it cycles back. So we've got both of our vectors entered now. Now if we want to do something as simple as adding these vectors, we can do Shift 5 to this menu here, and then choose 3 for our vectors, where it lists 1, 2, 3, or 4. So our first, second, or third vector. Well, we're going to do A plus B, so we'll choose A, and you see vector A appears on the screen. You just hit plus there, and then go shift 5 again, 3 for vectors, and we want to add it to our B vector, so that's number 2. There you go, vector A plus vector B equals, and here it gives us our first answer, so that would be this slot here of 4. Our second slot is 4, and our third slot is also 4, which makes sense if you look at our original vectors. You can also find the dot product of these two vectors, again by pressing Shift 5 to get to this menu. And if we want to find the dot product of A and B, well, first let's, play, let's place vector A on the screen. So we select the A vector, and then we go Shift-5 back here, and if we scroll to the right once, you can see we have a DOT here as our first option. So we'll press 1, and we now have a dot there after vector A. That's indicating the dot product. So then we press Shift-5 again, back to our vector menu, 
and choose our b vector. So there we have the dot product of vector a and vector b. And if we press equals, you see we get an answer of 10. Easy enough. And we can also find the cross product of these two vectors. Like before, we start by placing our a vector on the screen by going into vectors, 1, there we go. And then we'll use the multiplication sign there, vector a times shift 5, select our b vector. There we go. And if we press equals, you can see we get a vector answer 1. So that's our first dimension, remember, of minus 4. We scroll to the right, we get 8 for our answer 2. So that would be this slot here. And right one more time, we get a minus 4 for our third vector answer or third dimension. Once you're done, you can clear the screen and go back to your normal mode by pressing the mode button and choosing number one there on their first menu. You see the VCT at the top of the screen is gone now and you're back to your normal calculator mode. Alright, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there everybody!